Before I get started, this video is being sponsored by 1821 Man Made Spirits, but as always, all opinions are my own. We are the dollars of sins. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, seven years ago, seven long years ago, I stumbled across this company, which you guys already probably know what it is because I already said it in the intro, but um, I can't believe it's been seven years since I tried their first fragrance. That seems like a very long time ago, but it also seems like yesterday. I actually went back and looked at my video, and man, I was still in my kitchen. I didn't have, I, I was sitting, like, sit, sitting on my knees, and I think I was still using my old iPhone, like eight or something, uh, to shoot the videos. Um, Long, long time ago, and I actually worked with this company a couple of years later because I think they did like we did a giveaway a couple of years later. Um, but yeah, it was eighteen twenty one man made. Uh, was it the um, sweet tobacco spirits, which was a very sweet honey tobacco fragrance that uh, actually um, was on the fence about it first, but then like I really I really grew to like it. Uh, Brandon wore it because I think he did a. Uh, sponsorship with him back in the day too whenever he was doing videos and uh, he wore it one day and I was like man that smells so good like you know things smell good right here but like you know three hours later sometimes you don't know what they're gonna smell like and you know it smelled really nice a few hours later the dry down was fantastic um so I gave that one really high high marks and actually that one really took um Fragcom by storm like everyone was talking about that one when it came out and I was really happy um at the time I think they were based here uh, in Fort Worth in Bedford and so uh, I don't know if they are anymore or not um but at the time, I was, like, super proud of them. I was like, man, you guys are, like, making a huge mark and, like, you know, make a lot of noise in, in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Fragcom. And, and you guys are just some company out of Bedford, and that's awesome, you know. And they, they really – I feel like they took the, the Perfume World by Storm with that release. All that to say is that I did hear a couple of years later that they are going to release some new fragrances. They never came out. Right, like I was waiting on them. I thought they already had like their names. They had like some uh, a brief description of them. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Then they're already pretty much made. They just need to put them out. And the year after year after year, and then slowly, I just they sort of just fell off. I quit thinking about the company. And then I saw something on either it was online or something. I saw an ad, maybe it was, but they released two new fragrances finally. And I want to say that I read they're releasing three, maybe even four, but these two for sure. I remember reading these. Uh, I think. Uh, it was one of them at least. <clears throat> um, but yes. So all I have to say is that, uh, they were finally released a new fragrance and I got my hands on a bottle. The company decided to send me a bottle and I'm very grateful. So thank you guys out there, uh, at, uh, 1821 man made spirits for sending a bottle to uh, me so I could check it out. Um, they sent me a hundred mil. Uh, and here, here's the, here's the box and let's check it out here, guys. It does look like the original, uh, bottle in the, the box. This one does, I think it has blue. The other one was like maybe red. And whatnot, but again, it's been a long time. Going off of memory here, I have a pretty good memory, so we'll see how how that how that fits here. But I'll open it from the bottom because I don't want to break the seal. I don't want to break the seal on top, and it opens really easily from the bottom, as you can see. Here is the bottle again, same bottle um, as the original. I want to say the original maybe had gold lettering um, instead of blue, uh, but yeah, I mean, good looking bottle. I do like this little. It looks like a taller Le Labo bottle, honestly, and it has like. Uh, kind of a funky looking futuristic cap here has some grip on the side silver atomizer i mean it basically looks like a giant uh yeah like labo bottle as you can see I mean, usually lay labels are like right here but this is like super tall this is a hundred mil um fragrance and on their website it does sell for 86 dollars. i will link them below not sure if you can buy them anywhere else i didn't see these on for or anything like that i think i looked up on perfumo.net as well did not see this brand on there at least not this one um the original was on there the um Sweet Tobacco Spirits. Oh, and the other one was called uh, Noble Oud Spirits. And I think that one's out as well. And um, maybe I'll get my nose on that one one day as well soon. Uh, but yeah, 86 bucks for 100 mil. Then I'll link that down below. So please, if you guys like the way this sounds or just whatever, please click down below and uh, check them out and give them a little business because uh, we'll see. We'll see what I think about this one. This will be an update video as well. Um, and I wanted to wear this one tonight because I had nothing else to really wear. From judging by the notes we're gonna get to here in a second, it sounds kind of cool. It has like the blue here, has a little bit of blue in the label there. So I was thinking, okay, maybe it's gonna be a fresh woody fragrance, right? But some of these notes here, I'm not really sure. Don't know what to expect. The top sounds kind of fresh, but then I get some of these base notes, or at least what I think are base notes, and I'm like, wow, okay, is it gonna is it gonna get thick and heavy at some point? So let's go over the notes here, guys. No top, mid, and base. The description that I got on their website was just sort of a uh, a big uh, a big list of notes. So we'll just go over them like that. So we have mandarin, bergamot, cardamom. We have uh, cassia bark, uh, clary sage, cinnamon, which is nice, jasmine, cedar, mahogany wood, 
tonka bean, vanilla bean, and amber. So it's going to be fresh on top from what I see. Super woody because we do have cashew bark, cedar, and mahogany. So three different kinds of woods. And we'll see where, that, where it goes from there. But um, tonka bean, vanilla, and amber is going to be warm, uh, fresh spicy, warm spicy, and sweet. And a little bit of gourmand at, there in the base. So I don't know where this one's going to go. Um, part of me thinks it's going to smell a little bit like... Now, I didn't look at the notes or anything uh, comparing uh, of this fragrance. But... Um, it sounds a little bit like it might be a little bit like, um, what is it, uh, uh, Chanel Alurome or maybe Alurome Sport or something like that. Just because with that tonka bean and some of these fresh notes, I was thinking, hmm, maybe it's going to smell like that. But I didn't compare the notes. I don't know. I'm just kind of just looking at them here in front of me. I'm kind of just trying to guess if it's going to smell like anything, what would it smell like? I'm hoping this is just something that I've never smelled before, but you never know. I mean, a lot of a lot of uh, fragrances out there do tend to kind of lean smelling like other ones that are already on the market, and that's okay. As long as it's a little bit different, I'll be happy, but I'll let you know. And sometimes if, if it does smell like a clone almost, like a, a, a you know, like too much like something else, if, the, if it lasts better than the original, I'll still vouch for it. So, because to me, it's like, oh, if you're paying 200 bucks for something and it lasts six hours, but... Maybe this lasts 12 hours and you're paying 89 bucks. There you go. It's kind of a no-brainer, guys. But let's get to the good part, guys. I'm talking too much. Clean hand. Here we go. A couple of sprays. We'll be on scent of the evening. Looking forward to trying this one. All right, good sprayer. A lot of juice. Okay. It is slightly reminiscent of something. Super woody, though. It's fresh, super woody. Reminds me a little bit of Zierjoff Uden. And Uden Overdose, a little bit of that. And again, that one reminded me of uh, Field Notes from Paris and uh, Chanel Lorome. This one a little bit kind of reminds me, and I actually like this fragrance, so I'm leaning towards liking this one. It reminds me of uh, Him by Hane More. And if you guys ever tried that fragrance, the one that comes in the, in the dark brown gold bottle with the gold cap, I'm really getting a lot of that, that sharpness that that, that that fragrance brings to the table. And I love that fragrance. Um, not exact, but I'm getting something that reminds me of that very heavily. Um, and I, I think I have the EDP. And that stuff smells fantastic. I think that was like my number one scent in a fall list I made many years ago. But yeah, this stuff smells really good. Um, reminiscent to some others. And it's funny. I would just look at, I think that's the second time I got lucky. Just trying to looking at notes and going, hmm, with that tonka bean. There's no tobacco in this, but with that tonka bean, the woody notes, and all that citrus, I had a feeling that it was going to go down that route of your Uden or your Chanel Rome. I didn't think I'd do the hymn. But man, yeah, this stuff smells really, really good. It's it's fresh. It's a little tart and sharp. Um, it's super woody, very masculine. And it, and it has a little creaminess to it, a little bit of uh, nuttiness to it from the tonka bean, some citrusy notes in there. If you guys have tried any of the ones that I'm mentioning, just kind of kind of uh, push all those together, and it, you might get this. But yeah, this is high quality stuff right here. It smells really good, super woody, very masculine. Um, man, because this might be this might be another winner from them, um, because I really did like the first one. But you know, it's like a super thick, heavy honey scent. This one seems like a little bit more versatile. But yeah, guys, uh, this first half of this video is super long, so I'm going to go ahead and probably going to cut some of this stuff out. But uh, yeah, what's first tonight? Over the next couple of days, give you guys an update shortly. Talk to you then. All right, guys, so I'm back with my update for Absolute Mahogany Spirits from the House of 1821 Mad Maid. Guys, what can I say about this fragrance? I'm going to say one, I do like it. It smells really, really good. Uh, the fragrances that I think it reminded me of in the first half of the video does carry over. So the Field Notes in Paris, a little bit of that opening, a little bit of the Chanel Lore, a little bit of the, uh, what is the other one that I said? It was uh, a little bit of the Uden, uh, just all those ones uh, that, I, that I mentioned. But also, I think overall this one really did remind me most of him from Hane Mori, and I believe this is the Eau de Parfum. Um, I actually just found out a couple of days ago that this was discontinued. They don't make this fragrance anymore, and they're selling a 1.7 ounce. I think that's what, what size I saw for like 150 bucks for this stuff. That's nuts. Um, overall, it, it reminds me more of this. There's aspects of this fragrance that remind me a little bit of uh, Boss Bottles because it has cinnamon in it. It reminds me a little bit of um, Spice Bomb in the dry down probably because it has vanilla and cinnamon as well. Very very spicy fragrance, guys. Starts off very fresh, goes into a uh, nice. Uh, it is herbaceous, but overall it's like a little herbal mixed with citrus, mixed with um, some spiciness. 
and some woods. I mean, the woods in this is really, really good. Like they have cedar, mahogany wood, and then just like um, some some uh, cashew bark, which I'm not really sure what it is. Um, but I'm guessing it's the wood. But it smells like freshly chopped wood. Um, the the powdery woodiness of this one really did remind me a little bit of Bois d'Argent from Dior, just a little bit. Um, so I'm getting all these different uh, fragrances that it reminds me of. Oh, and I will I will add that um, him actually reminds people a lot of Gucci Porum too, which is also discontinued and selling for a lot. Um, so if you you know if it smells like this, then it's going to smell like Gucci Porum too. And if you like that fragrance, this one is is right along line with the ones that I mentioned. Little aspects here and there, but overall it's going to be Gucci Porum too, or like that the him. Um, but yeah, guys, this is a really good fragrance. I, I loved all aspects of it. The, the opening was awesome. The mid was great. The dry down was good. Nice and uh, sweet, vanilla and powdery. A little bit of that tonka bean, so it gets a little gourmandy on your skin. Really, really nice. I mean, I was very surprised. I didn't know what to expect with this fragrance. Um, yeah, it does remind me of some other ones, but it does really do its own thing. I think this one actually performs better than those. I think you get a better deal, especially now for what those two discontinued fragrances are going for. You're paying, you're getting 100 mil for uh, 89 bucks, and who knows? Maybe they do discounts, or you can get a discount at somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I had a oh, pretty good experience with this fragrance, and I, I'm very happy that I, that I got a chance to try it. Um, the uh, longevity for this fragrance, eight plus hours, which is great uh, for a fragrance like this. You want this to last all day. If you like Gucci Porum too, that one was, uh, you know, uh, it was famous, unfortunately, for being super, super weak. If you like that fragrance, and, and you're gonna like this one. And this one lasts eight plus hours. Every time I wore it, eight plus hours. It's great. I think they said it, on their website that this lasted 12 plus hours. That might be for them. Um, but for me, I got eight plus. But, you know, everyone's different. Um, the projection, not beast, but good. Very, very good. Um, I think I, I got I got decent wash from this one. Um, and I was able to smell it on myself all day long. So I knew it was still there. I knew it was still kicking. I knew if I could smell it on me, that other people could smell it on me. Not a beast. Um, but you probably don't want this one to be beast. You want it to be probably a little bit lighter, um, because, uh, you know, it's just, you don't want this one just to really fill up a room because this one can get pretty strong. This one can get out of hand pretty quick if you're not careful. Um, but yeah, I do think that the, uh, overall that the, um, uh, performance was really, really stellar with this one, especially for what you're getting. Seasons for this fragrance, if you guys haven't guessed already, it's going to be, uh, for me anyway, fall. Fall and winter. I think this one, just the way it smells, smells like fall to me. The woodiness of this one really just I, screams a crisp, cool day in the fall or winter. Um, walking through the woods, I mean, just this is so woody. It just smells fantastic. Um, honestly, you probably wear it year-round because it is, like, not super cloying. It's not super heavy, but it is thick enough to get through that cooler weather. Um, it's woody enough. It just, to me, it just screams woody, like, woodiness. Wood, like, you're walking through the woods. But that's just more me. Like, that's my mind's eye. You probably wear this one year-round if you'd like. Um... But, again, that's just me, guys. I'll probably wear this one more in fall. Occasions for this fragrance, if you guys haven't guessed already, I'm going to say it's going to be uh, casual day wear. But but you can probably wear this one, like, on a date night, guys. I, honestly, I, man, I think you can wear this one any, <laughs> anywhere you want. I was, I was, I'm literally just kind of editing myself while I'm talking. Because I'm thinking, oh, this screams casual day wear because it's nice and, and it's fresh and woody, a little spicy. But then the dry down gets kind of sweet and powdery and a little gourmandy. So that'd be good for date night. So, man, man I think you can probably wear this one. For any occasion, guys. I think you can wear this one to work. I think you can wear it casually. I think you can wear it suit, uh, wear, uh, dress down suit and tie. Like, this is just a pretty, to my, to me, it's a pretty versatile fragrance. And considering that it lasts as long as it does, you're getting a, a good bang for your buck on this one, guys. Ages, uh, for this fragrance, probably gonna say are 25 and up. Um, not sure if younger noses will be able to, would like this one. They might think it's too woody. They might think it's too, uh, Maybe an inexperienced nose might well think this is too cloying or just it thinks it smells weird. I honestly don't think it smells weird at all. But, you know, I'm just trying to put my my uh, my mind where a, a younger person who doesn't have a lot of experience with perfume, where they would go with it. So they probably wouldn't like it as much as I would. But, man, this stuff is fantastic. If I didn't miss anything, I'm going to say overall, overall, I think this is a good fragrance. I think this is a solid release. I guess my only, my only marking would be that uh, it did remind me of those. But at the end of the day, those... Gucci Forum 2 and him are both discontinued. I don't know if that's where they got the idea for this one. Don't know if that's where the formula came from. I have no idea. If you look at the notes and compare them, they're not exact. I want to say the him, they had a few notes that did. It might come up with that DNA. I think it had some pepper. Um, they had it had some woods. Uh, it had the bergamot and had a couple of other things. And the cinnamon. The cinnamon might be the big player in this one. Because I think the cinnamon really stands out in this fragrance. That's why I get a very fall vibe with this one. Cinnamon in the woods just smells like fall to me. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, that might be the only knock, but those are selling for a lot. This is 100 mil with a fantastic sprayer and it lasts a long time for 89 bucks. I will leave the link down in the description below so you guys can get your bottle if you'd like. Um, but yeah, overall, I do think this is a nice fragrance. And I, I, I'm going to say um, kudos to 1821 Manmade because this is, I haven't tried the new Oud one yet, the Noble Oud or whatever it's called, but I, they're two for two right now in my book. Um, some people compared 1821 uh, Manmade Spirits to um, like Tobacco Vani and some other ones. But I think it was it was uh, different than those. Um, I think this one's different enough than these <clears throat> to warrant a purchase. But it's going to be up to you guys. You guys, know, I think they sell samples for like five bucks. So maybe grab a sample if you want. Check it out. But overall, I do think this is a nice fragrance. And I want to say thank you to uh, to 1821 Mad Men for sending me this bottle. I really do appreciate it. And it's gonna be it's gonna be in my collection because this stuff is gonna come in handy in the fall. This stuff smells so good, so spicy. Um, woody, just super masculine. I think you guys will like this fragrance, guys. So if you guys tried um, Absolute Mahogany Spirits from the House of 1821 Mammoth, if you have, let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this one, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching the video on my channel. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for future first impressions videos and first edit content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you find first edit photos and future contest winners. And as always, until next video, you guys take care. Thanks.